Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you are doing well. Ah, we're in some interesting times and interesting energy. It can be difficult on the physical body, more so difficult on the mind, but when you can get yourself aligned, neutral, it's actually quite miraculous what is energetically happening on the planet at this time. So without further ado, let's get into your reading for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Aquarius. And these are general messages. So take what resonates for you and leave the rest, please. All right, let's do one more shuffle here. we have the card of grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. What is happening energetically on the planet as we we're going through a wave, a very large wave. Uh, you know, I, I like to visualize the spiral or the six cycles, but actually I see it as uh, the ripples of the past and how we still re-experience time and time again the same grief process, the same pain that we have for our lifetime, or at least since before age seven, in different ways, in different forms, but it is the same energy. And until we're able to release and let go and get to a place of acceptance, the those energy waves are still going to have a ripple effect, have an effect on us. And however we react and respond to it has a ripple effect out to others. I hope that makes sense. Honor the grief process. Don't deny you're not in a grief process. This is actually a message that personally came up for me um, a lot back in May until I finally had this giant aha moment of um, certain areas of grief because we have multiple, there's more than one, certain areas of grief and loss that went under the radar for me that I was escaping from that I unconsciously was escaping from because that's what we do as children. We're not able to totally integrate our pain or trauma, um, you know, from birth to age seven. And so we find ways to escape and create an alternate reality for ourselves, whether that be in fantasy or play or video games or whatever it is. And we follow those patterns into adulthood. And it is very unconscious. It's very innocent, but until I snapped out of it and recognized, because I had a, a big flash of insight, so you can't run and hide from it at this point either, energetically, it's pretty much in your face. So if there's part or fractal of yourself, the soul knows where to find you at this point in time. And so um, there's, it's actually a relief and a release when it comes to us at this stage of the game, 
the energy is, um, it's intense, but it is also a quick release, if you will. So to allow it, you'll feel much better. All right, sorry. This is gonna be a lot longer than some of the others. I've been in um, some pretty deep channeling energy, so. Congratulations, Aquarius, you hit the jackpot. <laughs> it's been a ride, and it's been a ride for all of us. Um, a ride that we don't know where it's going, and we've gone through some high highs and low lows and some loops and some backwards. And Okay, we have partnership partnerships and alliances okay so there may be some grief that is uh, arising for you whether it has to do with your partner whether it's marriage or it's your partner your romantic partner business partner alliances too friends people that you rely on that you are a team with patience and planning <clears throat> for some of you, maybe you've lost a partner. For others of you, maybe you've lost connection with a partner. And it's time to grieve what is, what is ending so that you can begin something new. <clears throat> sacral chakra yeah so this is you know steps on a ladder or the stair steps you want to take slow steps that are from divine will and not free will I mean we all have free will choice so go ahead and do what you ever you need to do um, However, we're always going to experience the repercussions of our free will when we sit and we're more patient with a situation, with a, a, an emotional releasing process. We are divinely guided onto the next step because this seems really important to you, for you, Aquarius. We have sacral chakra. And that is part of the sacred three, um, mind, heart, and sacral is a, a powerful connection of how we create our creative energy, our, our creative currency that we emit out, uh, whether we're aware of it or not. And this also is very much linked to how deeply we can connect to others or not. So there may be an imbalance right now, but it seems as though intuitively or just being guided or maybe you're just extremely vulnerable and tired, um, solitude is what the overall message here with grief, and that makes sense. So that's honoring the grief process taking time to yourself. She's holding a book, a book of knowledge. This is the knowledge from within that arises when we are quiet and slow and still with ourselves. We have truth below that. So truth can arise then for us to honor and accept. A lot of times we don't see the full picture or the appreciation of things until they are no longer with us or no longer in resonance with us, but the past version was. There's always duality in everything. Tell me about partnerships and alliances for Aquarius, please. Page of Wands. Okay. 
Yeah, we have the Five of Cups. So there's some grief here. There's also some reflecting back into um, maybe what has been lost. Um, uh, maybe some regrets coming up, but don't hold on to that. Just let the energy flow through and arise. Page of Wands came out in reverse. I, I flipped it back around just so I could get the full message here. There's a new energy within you that is arising. Or maybe it's been with you. It's been, a, it's been an aspect of you, a part of you, that really wasn't, it was lying dormant. But this is more of a free spirit. This is making the most out of what you have at the moment trying to spark that passion back up. I did see passion ignited. Uh, maybe that wasn't in this reading, but it's just flashing up in my head. It's like there is still an inner fire within you. Yet I don't... It's, it's like you're not... You're no longer like totally clinging to the past or somebody from the past, maybe as you were. And because of that, because that energy break, you're able to see it, the situation, whatever it feels like a loss or a void or a hole, you're able to see it in some new angles, new perspectives. And um, yeah, so then we have two of cups, that fell below patience and planning. So there's still this desire for connection, for love, for some type of physical unity. Two people holding hands, their cups are merging, their emotions are merging together, all the colors of the rainbow. And I think in order for you, for any of us, to truly get to what you're desiring, it does take patience because if we don't fully allow the grief process, honor the grief process and appreciate what we have lost, what, what hap what we had experienced in the past with another, but not entangled and tied with that energy anymore. Um, but have love for it from a different angle. That's where we can really start to open ourselves back up to reconnect, to re, maybe reconnection, but connecting to someone. For some of you, maybe reconnection, but I, I'm not seeing it quite that way. I, I'm not even seeing right now for whoever I'm reading for, not quite ready for this type of connection yet. That's why you're in solitude. This is why the book of knowledge is open because the, the knowledge, the awareness of one's own self that gets reflected, the hidden parts get reflected back to them through another. But when we're not aware of it in that aspect, it just feels like, you know, two heads budding or however you experience that. It's taken a, a, a toll on the sacral chakra, the sexual, not just sexual, but it is creative energy. And, um, you know, the... The sexual energy has been so deeply distorted in the human perspective anyway. So, um, but the creative energy, the ability to really deeply connect to somebody, to let all the walls down and to be intimate, that feels like you've been shut out. The door has been locked behind you and you're all alone. And so this is an out of balance sacral chakra. The mind is running the show right now. It's telling a narrative and it's over and over and over again. So until you release that energy and the mental chatter, you will be, you know, kind of sitting in this energy of reflecting back at the past, seeing what was lost, what could have been, 
um, what shouldn't have been, all of that stuff, instead of getting, getting the understanding, seeing the changes that need to be made within you, the healing that needs to be made within you so that you can have the connection that you truly deserve and desire. So try not to get stuck in that, but it seems as though maybe you're getting unstuck and you're finally going through the, the, the true, the depth of the grief process where, you know, we're all pretty, we're good escape artists and we don't even know it all the time when it comes to energy and emotion from the past that has been hidden from us it's from, from childhood. So anyway, let's get one more card to wrap this up and some advice for you. Aquarius. Yeah. It's, a, it's in the mind. Two things, Aquarius, the one that I'm reading for now. Deeply try to understand the perspective of mirroring and projection. We live, everything that's outside of us is a mirror, especially now. That cosmic mirror has magnetized inward, and it is very close to us. It's very strong. It's mirroring and project, and we're projecting out, and it's mirroring back to us things that are still within us that we have not released and let go of. One of the things that you have not released and let go of, or maybe you're in the process of releasing and letting go of, is the takers posing as givers. So you've had experience, this could be what we call narcissists, this could be what we call, you know, a, even somebody stealing from you, um, gaslighting, all of that. So you've had that experience and what we do is we project outward the blame, you're bad, you did this, but if you can turn that mirror around and look, look within and see what was this showing you within you that you were giving away? There's so much that we can learn from these mirrors. There's not just one thing. There's seven, at least, or more. And we'll be teaching a class about this if anybody is in Pennsylvania. It's a live class um, called The Blind Spots. If you can see what this experience was me meant to teach you about you, you you'll be able to really release that energy and maybe any kind of regret or blame or shame or guilt that you might still be carrying and it's heavy and it's, I'm feeling tired <laughs> just doing this reading. So I hope that you found this to be helpful for you. It seems as though there's an organic process going, going on here. And as long as you allow the energy to flow and it's going to be emotional, but it, the, the, the less we hold on or try to push it away, the easier it is and the faster it is. It's not like re-experiencing it all over again. It can really wash through you pretty quickly if you allow. So that is the message for you, Aquarius. I hope that you found this to be helpful for you. I'm sending you so much love. Take care. Bye.